To illustrate how one can conquer heart disease, how one can strengthen their heart, I'm going to give you the story of Henry. Henry was a retired judge. He came to us quite a few years ago now. He was carrying about 40 kilos excess weight. He was in his late 60s. He came for a rest. And as we consulted together, I discovered that Henry was on six medications. He was on medication for high blood pressure, for cholesterol, for blood thinning, for blood sugar. He was on also medication for gout and stomach ulcer. I said to him, are you interested in alternatives to your medication? He said, not really, Barbara. I'm very happy with my medication. I give respect to everyone's choice. It is a God-given right that each human being choose what they're doing with their body. Please always give people the respect to make the choices they do. I also understood that Henry was not aware of alternatives. And as he attended our health retreat, through the lectures, he discovered the importance of exercise, drinking more water, a plant-based diet. While he was with us, we made him Hawthorne Berry tea every day. He drank a litre of Hawthorne Berry tea every day. The rule of thumb is two teaspoons of the dried berry gently simmered in a cup of water so we did four times that amount and Henry sipped on this through the day. We also gave him cane pepper three times a day just a quarter of a teaspoon. We also gave him some magnesium three times a day. Magnesium relaxes the heart at rest. We did find that Henry's blood pressure did come down a little by the end of the week. He said to me, I've grown to like the tea, and he said, and I'm happy to continue. Henry gave me a phone call four months later. He said, Barbara, I would like to come and visit you. He said, I would like to get some more Hawthorne Berry. I want to help my friends and their blood pressure. I said, come for lunch, Henry. He happily came for lunch. When I opened the door, I did not recognize Henry. In four months, he'd lost 20 kilos. He said, I can even do my coat jackets up now. He said, which I'm very happy about. He said, I'd like you to take a seat because I've got a few stories for you. He said, I went to the doctor recently to have my blood pressure taken. The doctor took the blood pressure and he got up and was walking out of the room. And Henry said, what are you doing? And the doctor said, the machine's broken, I have to get another machine. Henry said, why do you say the machine's broken? He said, well, this machine says your blood pressure is 120 on 75. And he said, that's not your blood pressure. Your blood pressure usually sits at 150 on between 85 and 90. Now that's our medication. He said, so the machine must be broken. Henry said, no, that's my blood pressure now. The doctor did extensive blood works on him and discovered that his blood pressure was, well, his blood um, thinning was normal. He'd already discovered the blood pressure was normal. He found his blood cholesterol had come back to normal. He found that his blood sugars were normal. Henry had no more gout and he had no more stomach pain from stomach ulcers. So Henry's doctor took him off all medication because if he didn't, the blood pressure would go too low, the blood sugar would go too low, and he'd start passing out. The blood thinning would go too low and he'd start bleeding every time he knocked himself. What Henry had done, he had proved to his doctor that he could do it. And the doctor had to stop the meds or it would go too low. I believe it is our responsibility to prove to our health professionals that we can manage our health. And we say in Australia, the proof's in the pudding. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.21, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. 
I said, Henry, tell me what you eat for breakfast. He said, for breakfast I have a whole grain cereal. It might be millet, it might be whole grain rice, it might be buckwheat, it might be quinoa. He said, with that I usually put chopped fruit on it and then I put coconut cream on it. This is interesting, 20 kilos lost in four months, having coconut cream every morning. He said, I usually sprinkle some of that ground flaxseed on top and chia. And he said, and then I'll have a slice of sourdough spelt bread. He said, I live in Melbourne and you can get beautiful traditional sourdough, sourdough breads down here. I usually have avocado and tomato on that. He said, and I don't eat again till lunchtime. And that's usually about six hours. He said, for lunch, I have a big salad. I have some vegetables, either baked, steamed or stir fry. I always have protein. He said, I'm getting to know my legumes. It might be lima beans or lentils. He said, because I'm a bachelor, I'll make a dish that I got out of the Misty Mountain cookbook. And he said, that will usually do me a few days. He said, I remember what you said. I never heat it a third time. And if I've got more than two days worth, I will freeze it. He said, so I only have to make a dish like that maybe three times a week. So every day I will just bake or stir fry veggies. I make a salad. And he said, and often after the meal, I'll have another slice of sourdough spelt toast with some avocado and tomato. He said, I very much like that. He said, and I do not eat again till breakfast. I said, I'm impressed, Henry. You see, that's not a light meal, and yet he's lost weight on it because he's having most of his food at breakfast and lunch. By the time he goes to bed at night, his stomach can sleep when he sleeps. And this is one of the biggest contributing factors to healing his stomach ulcer. He said, I exercise every day. He said, I find I can go another block every week in my, in my town. I have found a few streets that have hills on them, which allows me to do some of that high intensity that you talk about. He said, and the good news is too, that my doctor says I don't have to have my knee replacement operations because I don't have that weight on my knees anymore. He said, it's interesting, Barbara, that I feel better now in my late 60s than I felt in my late 50s. He said, I just want to thank you. Henry wrote to us a year later. He said, 38 kilos lost now. He said, I just wanted you to know. A very interesting story about how impl implementing the simple lifestyle changes, dietary changes, and the herbs that God gave us can have such a dramatic result. Henry doesn't have the Hawthorn berry anymore. There's no need. His blood pressure is normal. He has strengthened his heart. That is the good news.